my name is Bill Walsh. I'm the executive director of the Healthy Building Network, and I'm here to talk about some big changes that I've observed at Green Build on the exhibition floor and in uh, some of the learning sessions. One of the biggest differences that we're seeing is coming from the manufacturing sector, where for the first time here at Green Build, we're seeing more uh, disclosure about product contents and related health hazards than we've ever seen before. Uh, several manufacturers have announced their own transparency initiatives. Uh, they've put out new labels. They've rolled out some environmental product disclosures. And while these aren't yet perfect, they're not ideal, they're not exactly what we want to see, it's headed in the direction that we want to see uh, product labeling go, and it's headed in the direction of tr transparency that we've been urging for some time. Another thing that we're observing here uh, at Green Build is that the, the customers the design firms, the specifiers, and the building owners are being much more clear in their demand for product content information and health-based information. A group of 23 leading green building firms and building owners joined us earlier this week in announcing a new open standard format for communicating product content and health information called the Health Product Declaration. Uh, what those firms are saying by endorsing the Health Product Declaration is that they would use this standard format in lieu of their own customized, for, customized forms requesting information from manufacturers. By creating an open standard format, we're going to take a lot of the friction out of the system in communicating this information and make it uh, flow much more easily from the manufacturer to the customer and uh, to the public. The final thing that we noticed here at Green Build was manufacturers talking about how they use our Faro system not only to communicate with their customers, but to communicate with their supply chain. By using the uh, chemical and materials library, they're able to project how their products would score in the Faro system and get a, a fairly good read on uh, safer substitutions for problematic chemicals. And I think we see that being uh, progress there being reflected in how new products are being formulated. We've been told by some manufacturers that they're Ferros ready. They have produced products that they believe will score well in the Ferro system. And I just came from uh, a session announcing the top 10 green products of the year. And two of those products featured uh, advances in uh, healthier chemistry, one removing PFCs from carpets, uh, perfluorinated chlorocarbons, which are uh, stain-resisting chemicals on carpets. Uh, the first uh, carpet now widely available for commercial uses that doesn't have PFCs. And another new flooring product rolled out, a, 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 a composite tile that eliminates the vinyl, taking the V out of the VCT. So we see uh, a, a tremendous range of progress being made from customers being clearer about what they want to the market, to manufacturers hearing that message, and to both parties using Pharos as a platform for communicating between amongst themselves and now up the supply chain. I think it's a great, great advance.